Desoldering and removing ball grid arrays and surface mount devices has never been easier than it is with the Zephyrtronic ZT7 hot air benchtop system. With over 10 years now in the field, the ZT7 is your proven and dependable solution for desoldering and removing BGAs, SMDs, QFNs, PLCCs, QFPs, and a host of SMD devices. The ZT7 is a modular system comprised of three key components. The ZT7 mill hot air topside reflow station, the ZT1 air bath bottom side preheating station, and the ABC adjustable circuit board holding fixture. In a 39-page report, NASA wrote that the ZT7 mill topside reflow unit holds the lines and preheats an SMD or BGA prior to attaching it to a PC board while the vacuum pump and plunger holds the chip in place, and that temperature is controlled with the digital controls right at the front panel. NASA continued pointing out that the bottom side preheater, the ZT1 air bath, bathes the PC board in warm air to reduce thermal stresses to the board and its components, and the temperature of the air is digitally controlled. The adjustable PC board cradle is the third component to the system. NASA described it this way. The ABC circuit board cradle holds the PCB over the air bath. It is movable to allow for more freedom during the alignment process. Even large PC boards can be handled without a problem. Let's get started. First, size the hot air nozzle to the actual BGA that is to be removed, in this case a 25 by 25 millimeter package. Now that we've selected our nozzle, let's insert it into the ZT7 system. First lift the suction probe at the top of the ZT7. This will allow you clearance to slide the nozzle into the convenient nozzle tray in the front. Next secure the nozzle in place with the convenient front access nozzle lock as shown. Now let's insert the printed circuit board into the dovetailed grooves within the ABC1 adjustable board cradle just above the air bath preheater and tighten the knobs securing the PC board into place. Let's align the chip to the nozzle for a desoldering application. Pull the Y prime heater axis out until it is fully extended and then lower the Z axis as shown down to where the nozzle hovers about 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters just above the chip. Any additional adjustments to square the chip under the nozzle are easily made. With alignment complete, we now move to board prep with an application of flux to the leads. From the LMK3000 kit that comes with every ZT7 system, take the dispensing bottle filled with the BGA and SMT flux and apply it to all four sides of the component that is to be desoldered and removed as shown. We're now ready to turn on the ZT7 by flipping the master power switch at the back. Your temperature controller on the front panel will become illuminated. Next, let's set the countdown timer for three and a half minutes, which will include your total profile, including ramp, preheating or soaking, and final reflow, desoldering in this case, mimicking the typical production profile found with large conveyor oven systems. And having set our timing parameters, we can now set the ZT7's topside temperature controller to 240 degrees C for desoldering. And completing the desoldering thermal profile, we power up the Zephyrtronic ZT1 air bath bottom side preheater and adjust the digital temperature controller to 150 degrees C. Now let's begin the desoldering process by switching the air bath preheater from cool to warm and the digital temperature controller will indicate that preheating has begun. And once your PCB starts its temperature ramp, initiate the digital countdown timer commencing your thermal profile. Upon reaching 120 to 130 degrees in temperature from the air bath preheater below the PCB, the flux which we'd applied earlier will begin to activate. Flux activation is instrumental to our work, for it strips away and cleans dirts, oils, surface films, and even oxides that prevent good solder wetting, which is essential to both the soldering and desolder processes. By now, the preheater has ramped up to 150 degrees C, and we are down to the last 90 seconds of our thermal profile, and we power up the upper heater for final desoldering reflow. Pull the Y prime axis out until it is fully extended and lower the Z axis and hot air nozzle down to 3 millimeters above the chip. The Zephyrtronic ZT7 incorporates an essential desoldering feature, automatic spring activated component lift off within the nozzle. Activate the vacuum. Then gently lower the component probe until the vacuum cup sucks onto the chip itself. 
We are now just seconds away from BGA final reflow and lift off the PC board. Remember, the PCB is preheated from below at only 150 degrees C and that the BGA itself is heated locally from above at only 240 degrees C. And as soon as all 289 balls of the BGA are molten, the automatic sensing probe safely lifts the chip up off the board and into the nozzle. Next, raise the Z-axis and push back the heat zone providing access to the PCB and turn the upper heater off. Removing the desoldered chip from your nozzle is easy. Simply press the convenient green vacuum button releasing the chip as shown. And a quick inspection reveals that all 289 balls desoldered evenly and that no pads were removed or damaged. Of course, the key to the success is the ZT7's auto sensing chip removal probe, which only lifts the component, whether it is a BGA or an SMT device, when all the leads have become molten, not before. The Zephyrtronics automatic sensing chip removal probe will desolder and remove BGAs, QFNs, micro BGAs, SMDs, QFPs, PLCCs, LGAs, SOICs, SOLs, RF shielded chips, SMD sockets, ceramic caps, and more. And any engineer or technician who has ever worked with hot air tools will certainly appreciate the Zephyrtronic ZT7's auto sensing removal probe as it helps you to eliminate all the crude hand prying up of the chip from under the nozzle or lifting pads or dwelling too long with the hot air nozzle over your chip or burning your PC board or damaging your component and all that technician guesswork. Best of all, the auto sensing probe helps eliminate scrap and protects your substrates pads, and components. Of course, the final step in the desoldering process is cleaning the board and inspection after the component has been removed. So let's switch the ZT1 airbath preheater into the cool mode and then select the non-flammable flux remover from the LMK3000 kit that comes with your system. Dip a foam swab into the non-flammable flux remover and swab clean the area and the pads where the 289 balls of the BGA had previously been soldered, removing all of the old flux. Now turn off the power to the ZT1 air bath and turn off the main power to the ZT7. The Zephyrtronics patented ZT7 makes your final inspection so much easier than it is with other so-called hot air systems because of our unique mobile heat zone that lifts and retracts. There's no need to move the board because the retractable heat zone gives you ample clearance to inspect the work immediately at the same site. That's right, even enough clearance for using a high-end ESD safe illuminated inspection magnifier. And here's even more good news. Removing the PCB assembly reveals that both the bottom side of your board and its component are cheerfully undisturbed. So let's review. Without any need of or the expense for one of those $10,000 or $25,000 or $50,000 so-called BGA machines, and without any excessive uncontrolled high temperature whatsoever, without any technician guesswork, without burning the board, without lifting a single pad, and without hours of frustration programming, yes, one of those complicated machines, we've just successfully desoldered and removed a 289 ball, 25 by 25 millimeter BGA package, and all in less than five minutes. The entire process was performed with proper thermal profiling because the system ramps at the industry specified 2 to 4 degrees C per second, unlike many IR systems. And because the spring-activated automatic sensing probe was employed, the BGA lifts exactly on time and only when all the balls or leads have become molten. And moreover, because the ZT7's heat zone is mobile, moving both up and down and back and forth on the highest quality precision linear bearings, your board preparation, your component fluxing, your post-operation cleaning of the board, and even inspection are all easily performed without ever needing to move the PC board during the entire process. The ZT7 truly has it all. Thermal wrapping, preheating and soaking, spring activated component liftoff, digital timing, full digital temperature control at both the top and bottom, retractable movable heat zone. The ZT7 is the modular system that transforms the benchtop for prototyping, rework, and repair. And don't forget that the ZT7 handles not only BGAs up to 50 by 50 millimeters in size, but also is ideal for all your SMDs, QFNs, PLCCs, QFPs, and more. 
This is the science of Zephyrtronics.